I'm Jennifer Holmes here, President of MIS Solutions, and in today's world, we all have multiple devices. We have a cell phone, a tablet, a desktop, uh, our PC at home, and the challenge becomes if I take notes on one of those devices, I have data kind of spread out all over the place. So what is an easy way, Liam, that people can um, basically work on a multitude of devices, but then make sure they have their data across those devices? Sure, so I think one of the big things that we see uh, we certainly do it ourselves, is when you tend to be somebody who's in and out of the office a lot, you can certainly carry notebooks with you, and, and that's fine, but one of the problems you have is how do you get those notes, how do you keep them, how do you keep all of your notebooks when you run out of paper, you know, and so what people tend to do is they start to use email as sort of a digital note-taking kind of a thing, so they write themselves emails. The problem is that it's hard to organize them, it's hard to make sure that you can search and find stuff, and it can be a little bit awkward, right? So there are some applications now, particularly where you start to see uh, all of these various devices like uh, the iPad or some of the new touchscreen uh, laptops. You also, of course, see cell phones now that have uh, the ability to have the stylus like the Note and the Note 2. And what people are doing is they're using uh, an application like Evernote, which is an, a free application. And Evernote allows you to actually take notes on whichever device you like. It allows you to take pictures. If your device has the capability of taking pictures, you can record conversations or even video if you'd like. You can embed those directly in those notes. And what the, what's really nice about it is not only can you create these notebooks to keep the like content together, but once you've created that content and you hit save, then any other device that you have Evernote installed on automatically gets a copy of those videos, those notes, and those pictures. So if you are out in the field and you're using a your cell phone to take pictures or you're doing it to, to make notes on a particular job, then those notes automatically get synchronized back to your computer at the office so that when you get back to the office, you're able to pull up your notes, your pictures, your recordings, whatever you have, and then be able to make detailed quotations about whatever it is that you were trying to do. So Evernote's a fantastic tool. It's, uh, it's a free tool, but it allows you to really get information uh, where you need it and use these multiple devices to their fullest capacity. I have a question. So let's say you have a tablet, a desktop, um, a workstation, and your cell phone. And so Evernote certainly helps you sync the data but how do you make sure that it gets backed up? Do you need to at least make sure that one of those devices, like maybe your, your tablet or your desktop, gets backed up so that as Evernote is syncing, you're going to get backups of all of that? Yeah, sure. You're going to want to make sure that your desktop, just like you would with documents and anything else that you would use uh, on your desktop, you need to make sure that all of that stuff is, is saved in a place that gets backed up so that if you do have a problem, you're okay. But I would also point out that you know, it's a copy of your notes. So if you have a cell phone and a tablet and a desktop and you have a problem with your desktop and it dies and you get it replaced, then as soon as you install Evernote and you put your account credentials back in, then it's going to resynchronize and all of your data is going to come back on that device. Okay, so one last question and that is how secure is an application like that? I mean, I mean, is it just an application on the device? Do we need to be worried about that? Can you give us any kind of tips to make sure that we're secure mm -hmm. using this, this application? Sure. So the device itself needs to be the, the item that provides security. So, of course, you need to have, if this was your cell phone, you're going to want to make sure that you have a password on your cell phone. Um, you can password protect your notes as well. And then the notes themselves are encrypted in a special format when they're transmitted from point A to point B. Uh, but I would tell you that you want to make sure that um, you have physical device security, whether that's uh, your desktop, uh, whether that's an iPad, that you make sure that you have a password to get into your iPad or your cell phone. Very good. If you have further questions about how to synchronize your data, how to protect your data, or how to just be more productive with technology that you already have, don't stress. Call in my S.